Hey everyone, recently I came across a video where New York City firefighters broke both front windows of a vehicle illegally parked in front of a hydrant in order to be able to hook up a water supply line to their engine. Now this isn't the first time, nor will it be the last time that I see something like this, because if there's anything that's been consistent since the dawn of humanity, it's other people putting their own convenience in front of other people's lives. But what was particularly disturbing to me was to see that the majority of the comments were people saying things like, instead of breaking those windows, they should have just passed the hose over the car, or they should have lifted the car up and put the hose underneath it, or my by far favorite, they should have just had the car towed, ticketed it, and then hooked up to that lovely hydrant. What? The problem with that is all of those either cost us time or reduce the amount of water that we can get out of that particular hydrant, which in turn may cost you your life. Boy, that escalated quickly. There's a reason why we need access to an external water source as quickly as humanly possible. And that quite literally is, we're eventually going to run out of water and you're going to be stuck inside of your burning house singing Alicia Keys' newest hit. This entire freaking house is on fire. You see, some fire trucks only have a 500 gallon onboard water supply. And with firefighters using hoses that have an average flow rate of 180 gallons per minute, we only have about two minutes to put out that fire that's raging through your feng shui filled home before we're running out of water and you're running out of life expectancy. Oh! But to paint a better picture on why playing Twister with our supply line and your poorly parked vehicle will never pan out well for anyone that enjoys breathing or doesn't want to check into the newest Airbnb at their local burn unit, let's play a little game called Where Did the Water Go? Because when it comes to firefighting hose, every little kink in it increases something called friction loss, which reduces the amount of water that we can efficiently flow through it. And with some studies showing that just one kink in a hose can reduce the flow rate by up to 50%, we have to make sure that it's done right and done perfectly every single time, even if it's at the cost of your windows. Because attempting to run it in any other way, whether over the vehicle, under the vehicle, around the vehicle, causing kinks in it, could quite literally not give us enough pressure or water to be able to do our job efficiently. But the good news is, you can still do whatever you want. America. But the next time you decide to park in front of that fire hydrant, you gotta run inside and get your chai latte with an extra espresso shot. Just remember this. If there's two things that firefighters are really good at, it's saving lives and breaking stuff. Try to catch me howling at the moon.